So it is 5 a.m. We have made it here to the airport and we are flying to DC today. First to Denver. Twit back there, he cut his hair by the way. So we are flying to Sorry, Denver. <laughs> we are flying to Denver and then to DC to meet up with Mohini Fofini. We are going to celebrate Mo's birthday, which is this Sunday in DC by going to see WWE Presents Battleground Live. So if you're not a fan of wrestling, then oh well, shocks. But we're getting ready to hop on board here. Plane leaves in an hour. So hopefully everything goes smoothly. We can check in and swag in my swag, bitch. Dougie. Woo. dash across Denver because our original flight got in late and I had to wait for my bag and you know to check on whatever and we just barely made last call to get on this flight to DC that was kind of wild And that landing on that second flight was atrocious, diabolical. That plane gave up and just slammed on the ground. And I don't understand why it had to be that way, but it was. But we're here now, and uh, Twit ended up getting his bag, and we found Mohini, Fofini. So we're trying to get a ride to the hotel and check in and just relax for a little bit. Just relax. I'm just saying, Pokemon Go in DC is all kinds of lit. L I T L I T. I'm just saying, we are gonna take over some gyms for Team Instinct. Nah. I'm just saying, there's so many Poke Spots. There's a Poke Spot in our hotel. That's wild. So, we've been chilling at the hotel room for a little bit, and we ordered some Chinese takeout. <laughs> and I cannot wait because I'm starving. All I had was airplane food earlier today. But we've been sitting here grinding in Pokemon Go as well grinding. so that we can go out later tonight. Uh, actually, we're going to head to see Ghostbusters later tonight. That's the plan. And we're going to stop by a few gyms, conquer them for the glory of Team Instinct. No. And uh, maybe see if we can find a cemetery to get a ghastly too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. taking a trip away from this plane of existence. So, everything that we had planned to do last night, Pokemon Go hunting, going to see Ghostbusters, all that didn't happen. After we ate, we literally incubated ourselves. We just passed out. So we passed out on the couch, I passed out on the floor, and like 30 minutes later, we got up and went, and uh, I got in bed, and I've been gone from like 8 p.m. to 3 a.m. So now I'm up, wide awake, I'm thirsty because there's nothing to drink in uh, the room right now. So I'm wandering around trying to find a vending machine and uh, doing a little Pokemon Go at the same time. But I think I might try and knock out some editing since I'm up and there's nothing to do. Why not? I brought a lot of work, a lot of TCG videos I need to edit. I got the chance to record them before I left, but I didn't get a chance to edit them. So I might as well just take advantage of this time, be productive, 
and uh, maybe try and catch some sleep here in a bit. Who knows? We'll see. What your boy just found, though, we'll have to see if we can go ahead and knock out some uh, some iron sometime soon. Ain't that about a bitch? I'm going to the next floor. I've now gone up two floors because the vending machine on our floor was sold out. The second floor, the door was locked. Now the third floor, they have washers and dryers and an ice machine, but no vending. Someone left a nasty, stanky sock. Oh wait, I got a Pokemon. Ooh, it's a Krabby. Someone left a nasty, stanky sock, but I can't get a bottle of water. I've been to floors two, five, and six. I'm on six right now, and there are no vending machines. If you don't believe me, look, I'm on floor six right now, and there, no vending machine. So there is no vending machine in the hotel that sells water at all. There's no working vending machines. But the closest thing I can do is walk to Walgreens on the corner, which is about a block away, and there's this giant transformer of sorts that's just here making noise at 3 a.m. And I don't know why. Why? Why are you making so much noise? What the hell? So the trip to Walgreens was a success. And I got more water than I could have ever imagined getting from a vending machine. <laughs> and I got a few snacks too, but it's time to get home because DC isn't exactly the safest area to be out walking around at night. The only reason I did is because Walgreens is a block away. But yeah, I used to live in Virginia uh, about 20 or 30 miles outside of DC. And I'm telling you, DC, every day there's reports in the news of people getting shot, murdered left and right. And this loud ass machine is still going on, but we're gonna head back and get some editing done now that our crusade for liquid nourishment has been achieved. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.